what is going on guys i'm back with another video today i am back on mythical ps in today's video we are going to go ahead and showcase a custom mini game that they have on the server before we get into that i just want to announce a giveaway of 50 million old school rsgp or 50 dollars in store credits the choice is up to you all you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed make sure to turn on notifications make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below as always the winners will be picked in just about two days they will be announced in my community discord in the servers discord and on my pinned comment the links of discords are down below in the description so definitely make sure to join those Anyways, the minigame we are going to talk about is the island minigame. So they have decided to rework this minigame in the latest update as currently it's difficult uh, to complete and also it lacks the reward. So they changed all of that. The waves have been re reworked and now there is a maximum wave of level 50. At wave 50, you will experience an onslaught of 25 monsters, which is quite a lot. So you'll have to tank, uh, you will have to tank that quite a bit. Now you can obtain items from the actual monsters in the mini game because you will have to start completely naked. And with that um, gear that they drop, you can go ahead and upgrade your armor set until the end of the mini game, which I'll showcase in just a second. So as I mentioned, you need to be completely naked. So I'm just going to go ahead and bank all of my loot. If you want to go there, you click on the mini games teleport, and then you have the island mini game right here, and you'll be teleported straight to um, this zone together with the guardian. So talking about rewards, they added a bunch of really cool rewards, starting with this COVID-19 shooting axe. Now this is actually super overpowered. I'm going to showcase um, the forums in just a second. Um, so this is an AOE ranged weapon that shoots a deadly virus at your targets. Basically, it costs 25,000 island tokens, but it's super OP. The stats are really nice as well, as I'll showcase in a second. Now you also have the island starter pack right here for 250 island tokens. Once this is unlocked, when you load into the minigame, you'll start with a set of basic armor and the weapon, which is always really nice um, to go ahead and continue your wave. And you also have the um, island starter runes increased, which um, once you unlock this, you will start with twice the runes that you would normally start with. You will see how many runes I start with in just a minute. So really quickly, here are the stats of the COVID-19 shooting eggs. As you can see, you have a 40,000 ranged bonus, which is absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, that will do quite a lot of damage. So it's really nice to grind this out. Anyways, to go ahead and start this mini game, you just right click start. Would you like to start the island mini game? And you click yes. As you can see, you'll start out with a bunch of runes, also runite and uh, bolts and rune arrows, which can be used for range later on. Um, definitely make sure you are on the um, ancient mage book. Also, you have curses, so you can use soul split or something later on to heal up. Um, also, every kill you do, you will get a piece of equipment, a weapon or armor, and also one full rock tail, which um, will help you out in the long run. As you can see, you just got an AGS from that drop. So each wave, there will be a bunch of different NPCs that spawn. They can be uh, melee voiders, they can be mage voiders or range voiders. Um, these are juveniles, as you can see, because it's the first few waves. I believe once you go up in waves, they will um, increase HP and also increase stats um, to become more difficult. So the first 10 waves have now passed and I actually got quite lucky on the loot that I got so far. As you can see, I got myself Armadale Chestplate. Um, I am maging, which is um, really good because you have Blood Barrage, which will heal you up. Also is an AOE weapon, so you'll do uh, damage to multiple NPCs at once. Um, I also got lucky enough to get myself an Elijah Spirit Shield as a drop. Got a good boots, good gloves, um, got some magic armor on top of that. Uh, for the rest, stacked up some rock tails. Also, if I want to switch to ranged or melee, I already have a Torva Play Body Armadil Chain Skirt as well. Let me just uh, drop this real quick. So basically, we can keep on getting upgrades. Uh, right now, Wave 10, there are already a bunch of NPCs. But this will just get harder. As you can see, they also upgraded to the giant Void Berserkers instead of the juveniles from earlier. So they have quite a lot of uh, HP increased, um, which will make them a little bit harder and longer to kill. That's also why I'm standing behind the tree, so I'm not getting stacked by all the NPCs at once, because right now that would be quite dangerous. So unfortunately I disconnected on wave 17 and um, lost all my progress. I will go back in again in just a second though. 
However, I did already get enough of these island shop tokens to buy myself the island starter pack and also the island starter bonus uh, runes, which is really nice. So let me go ahead and claim those. And now every single time that I go into the island minigame, I will have a base set of armor and double uh, the amount of runes that I would usually have. So now that I have banked my tokens, I want to go ahead and start the minigame again just to see what armor set I get to begin with. And it is a full runite armor set, not the greatest, not the worst, because in the beginning uh, waves they only have 30 HP, so this is quite nice to get some easy kills. Besides that, the double runes is of course the most amazing thing that you can get from this. So this is taking quite a while, unfortunately I'm only on like wave 18 and um, yeah, since the NPCs have so much HP, I won't be able to finish this one because I have to go live stream, so unfortunately this one will end at wave 18. I will try again tomorrow to finish all the waves. So unfortunately I didn't manage to finish all the waves, I got up until wave 18 or 19 twice and then I DC'd because of course student dorm internet connection isn't the best and therefore I couldn't complete all the waves. But imagine you complete all the waves, you save up enough of these island tokens to go ahead and buy the COVID-19 shooting eggs. This is what you will get so you can go ahead and equip it. Now as I mentioned on the forum post, this does have 40,000 range bonus which is really great. But I do want to showcase in some PVM situations without any additional gear how good this actually is. So just to showcase how strong this actually is, I'm coming to this trainer NPC, the Defilers, which have 30k HP. You do need Dragon Arrows in order to use the um, COVID-19 shooting axe, but if you do that, you will be able to do a ton of DPS. As you can see, I'm, I can hit over 1000 with this in a very rapid pace, and this is without any armor or any other boosters. This is just straight up the axe with um, Dragon Arrows. So this is super overpowered, especially if you can combine this with some OP gear. But as usual, OP doesn't fit it for me, so we have to go to column, column, chest, where we have the research table. As you guys know, on Mythical PS, there is a lot of things that you can actually go ahead and upgrade at this research table, um, from pets to capes to other things. As you can see, there is a whole list of items that you can go ahead and upgrade. Also, this, the B uh, B Y H O virus. So the blow your head off virus gun, as you can see right there. Um, so you do need to get a lot of items before you can go ahead and upgrade this weapon. As you can see, the COVID-19 shooting axe is one of them. Besides that, you also need the mental cases zapper, the blow your head off gun, um, the upgrade version of that, and also the stoner gun. Luckily, I have all of those in my bank, so let me go ahead and grab those out real quick. Uh, remove the um, shooting axe from my equipment, go back into the research table and then we can go ahead and upgrade into the blow your head off gun. I forgot we need 2.5 million tags bags on top of this as well so let me just go ahead and um, grab these out real quick so we have those and um, then we can actually go ahead and do this upgrade because this upgrade is actually insane research the item we now have the blow your head off gun virus if we go to the equipment tab um, and check out the stats as you can see this is 90,000 range bonus which is over double the COVID-19 shooting axe which is absolutely insane now to test this out once again I came to one of the NPCs that you can go ahead and get some money from the large stacks of coins for the people who haven't seen this yet um, Basically, you can get a bunch of um, cash here so let's check out this equipment um, the little change is though you need cannon shots hand cannon shots for this weapon instead of dragon arrows but as you can see I am doing over 2000 damage it's once again super fast I already um, achieved the maximum experience in range and this had 1 million HP and it's already dead just like that which is absolutely insane so this weapon is even more OP of course which is a uh, normal because you upgrade it but it's so insane no equipment whatsoever and I'm basically doing 1 million each, um, damage in over like 10 seconds or something which is mental if you ask me combine this with some OP equipment and you can basically AFK any boss you want in game Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for the Custom Island um, minigame revamp, also for the COVID-19 shooting axe and the upgrade into the blow your head of virus minigun or gun. 
Um, basically, this is one of the most OP, if not the most OP range weapon in the game right now. So if you can get a hold of it, definitely go ahead and do so because this will make everything on the game seem so easy. But with all that said, this is where I will be ending off today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure to join the giveaway and I'll be catching you guys in my next video. Peace.